Welcome to Someca Tournament Fixture Generator. In this video, I will present all the features of our template. We will see how to use it step by step and how to make some customization. So let's start. The template contains five main sections. Settings, Fixture, Group Standings, All Teams Standings and the Playoffs. To all those sections, you have access from the dashboard. The first step on our way are settings. Here we decide about all the rules and point system. Here also we write down all the teams and the groups information. There is available space for maximum 10 groups and 10 teams in each of the group. To start, click the clear all button. This way, all the dummy data will disappear. Now we need to fill out the settings according to our needs. To be able to write teams, we need to create groups first. In addition, it is worth explaining, in group settings, the number of champions defines how many teams from each group are passing to the playoffs. When we have all the group's names, they will also appear in the tab's name. If there is no group name on the tab, the tab will be not active. So let's write our teams. The venue name is optional, so it's up to you if you want to see it later on in the fixture section. After we write all the informations down, it's time to click the Prepare Fixture button and follow to the next section. The Tournament Fixture. Here we can see all the matches were set up. All you need to do is fill the date and the time of each match and of course the match result. The date information is optional but it can be useful for us to follow all the games. As you can see on the left, there is a venue name. It's coming from the optional setting part and it's telling us where the match will be held. Based on all of the results, each team will get its ranking and this ranking will determine whether they pass to the playoffs or not. We can see all the standings and the results in the separate sections. In the group standings, we can see full shadow within each group and the ranking of all the teams inside the group. If you want to see a complex information about all the teams, non-group related, we can find it in all teams standings. And now let's go to the last part, the playoffs. We have an automatically prepared structure here. But if we want to make any changes, it's very easy. First, we need to edit the structure by choosing a manual option. And now we can change and decide which team plays with which one. After all is decided, it is important to switch option to automatic. This will save our structure and update 
all the formulas accordingly. Remember, it's always possible to manually update the playoff structures at any point of your tournament. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check our other templates on Someka website.